this is David Birch at Star Path School of Navigation. And uh, with a detail about um, marine weather, and our new book has been published now, is available. And so we'll make a series of videos that uh, show uh, highlighted features of this book. That's a way to introduce it. It's a third edition of a book that's been out for several, well, 10 years or more. Uh, and this came about today quite by accident while looking and uh, while talking with our, our weather instructor, uh, David Wilkinson, who uh, pointed out something he had seen the other day. And uh, we looked on some forecasts, and sure enough, we can see this very nicely. And this is the uh, corner effect, a corner effect of how uh, the effect of wind backing on land uh, can uh, focus the winds. And uh, so here's the book. I'll just show you. Uh, let's see. This is search engine. Enter corner effects. And then let me just come up here. This is the picture. And let me make that a little bigger. So here's the effect we're talking about right here. When the, when the wind, when the wind crosses the land, it backs because there's more friction on the land. And that's a detail which is explained elsewhere. But the main point is when wind goes on the land, it backs. So you see when this wind comes across here, it backs and goes that direction. When the wind comes across this headland, it backs and comes this way. So when the wind in the main terrain is out here going straight, when the wind is backed into that, it's focused out here, it's converging. But on the other side of the beach here, when the wind comes across this land, it backs and therefore the wind diverges. So the, the wind, the wind speed that you see on the point of a land will depend on uh, where, where, which side it which side it's on here in that case. So here's a classic island case of a converging corner effect of the wind being enhanced with convergence and uh, weakened and divergence. Now, so that's the, that's the effects we're gonna look at. And um, so here's the example we were looking at. And here I'm looking at the Luck Grip viewer viewing the high resolution rapid refresh model. Uh, that's from today, I guess. That's today. Yeah, this just came up in a conversation today. And so this is an area here, which let me zoom out. This is in the south of Puget Sound. See, here's, here's Seattle right here and Elliott, Elliott Bay. Well, I guess here's all of Seattle. That's Elliott Bay. And for a bigger perspective, for our Friends elsewhere, this is the state of Washington and Strait of Juan de Fuca and so forth. And this high resolution rapid refresh model is updated every hour and extends out for 19 hours. So it's a pretty powerful program. It's a 1.3 kilometers resolution, so it's pretty high resolution. That means if I zoom in here, uh, well, let me do, okay, so this is like 1.3 kilometers, I think, from here to here. And so we're looking at this end of this island right here, which I'll come back to in a moment. And uh, we're looking at the wind right in this area, which is here from the south. But now let me just pull this up and watch it. It's still southerly. Then it's veering all around to the north here. Now look at, here's the point we're after. This enhanced wind right in here, this 15, about 15, well, nominal 15 knots, while the wind is northerly, and then it goes on, then it goes lighter, and we don't see any effects anymore going around here. So we don't see anything coming out of the south, but when it comes up here, right about here, we see an enhancement. And to some extent, this is this effect in, in play. In fact, can be it can act be pretty prominent right here, <laughs> real prominent at times, but this is just a minor case. And what, what's happening then is the wind is coming down, and there's two things that take place here. This is relatively low. This is about, this is water level, and then this goes up to here about 400 feet. So there's this little gradient. So there's a, there's a little bit of focusing, but then there's again the idea of the backing. This north wind comes in here, hits here, and there's two things. It's kind of focused over here by the terrain a little bit, but the terrain's not that high. And then, but I think the bigger effect is the wind on the land then backs like that, and then it's coming out this way to focus that way. And uh, this model doesn't have that too much of that detail in it. But anyway, you see that effect. You see that enhancement right there, right at that, right at that point. And just one other, to, to follow through on this idea when you want to study it other places, 
let me go here. And here's one. This is not as well known as it should be. But if you Google National Map Viewer, you'll get this thing called uh, Viewer National Map Viewer here, that, that map here. And if you click that, you get into... Uh, you get into the viewer and then you can look at the topo maps and so forth so you play with that but here is then set up on that area so let me let me just show you here so there's there's Seattle we're talking about up here and here's this uh, end of this island um, here and uh, then you can zoom in and actually see the terrain. So if you want to study things like this, this is a pretty nice way to do it. And these are all sort of pretty amazing tools. You can actually plot, uh, plot uh, profiles of the terrain and so forth with, with these tools here. But you mainly you see here that there is some a little bit of focusing coming along here. But this is only 300 feet back into here. So it's relatively low. And so as the wind comes along here, there's two things being pushed out that way and then it's also backing and and that's what makes this pull off this point Robinson which is well known to uh, sailors in this area so that's so just one aspect of a corner effect of wind on terrain